All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and start with uh, me and Moon River. Just kind of go in chronological order. Uh, was there anything in particular that you remember, like, wanting to go over or, like, anything that stood out to you in the match? Or do you want to just, like, watch through and see what pops up? Uh, yeah. I, all I remember is that you, you just, you beat me, like, really incredibly fast. So I think I want to try to look for places where, um, like, um, you're catching me, you know? Okay, sure. Like, in neutral specifically, or? Uh, yeah. Okay. Or, or just like places where I'm uh, making the wrong decisions, like uh, during offense and stuff like that. Okay. As far as like wake up against Milia, uh, it just sort of you kind of got to guess. But otherwise, as long as the just, disc like, is out, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, when the disc is out, it, it's basically a guess, except for like throw, and then which you have to guess less against the throw options. Mm -hmm. Um, I then... will say I'll see if I did it or not i don't remember how well i was doing about it this week um there's probably a couple like specific tricks that i go for uh some of which are like tricks in that they don't work on some characters but happy chaos kind of has to hold them um but i'll see if any of those pop up so i'm just gonna uh watch for throw overhead stuff uh i want to watch for how i handle wall breaks um does it look like i'm correctly remembering that resources <laughs> exist and need to be watched i oh hey there we go music uh, those are the only things I rem- uh, I guess- I don't know. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, uh, how familiar are you with how the, like, Milia Happy Chaos round start interaction goes, by the way? Uh, not at all. Okay. This is one that, uh, because it's, you know, Happy Chaos, I remember I labbed a decent bit. Let me, uh, real quick pull that up so that I remember it. I have notes because my memory is terrible. Um, okay, yeah, so the super short version here is that uh, most of your, like, good aggressive options, uh, or, like, I think far slash, success, uh, 5k, etc. Maybe not 5k, that might whiff. Um, lose to 6p, but if I 6p and you 2d, I die. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because a uh, 2D counter hit, you get the launch, and it like you can get to a wall break from it, and uh, it's a good starter. So I'm at like half life. <laughs> so most of the time, I uh, don't actually try and gamble on the 6P. Uh, but the other notable option is just doing round start curse, is surprisingly difficult to punish from what I found in my, uh, when I was testing this. <coughs> like, you have to, like, even as someone as fast as Milia, I have to be like, they are going to curse and, like, commit to a full dash 5k. Like, if I just do a dash block or whatever, I don't go far enough. Though I think I also don't get cursed, so like, if I do just the dash block. Um. Anyways, that is just a quick aside that popped into my head. Start. If Milia <laughs> six P's a bunch hit two D die. Okay. Oh, right. That is the other thing I want to watch. How well did I avoid curse? Because I remember I was really trying to work on that. Just out of curiosity, this just like a couple frames before the 2P started, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, by Ooh, the way, you should probably start okay. streaming again to Discord. Oh, is it not? Yeah. Okay. It's sort of not. <laughs> oh, what the hell? The... the OBS like projector window 
closed. That would be why it's not going. Okay, yeah, sorry. I thought I had that up the whole time. Okay. <coughs> My bad. Uh, I will rewind slightly, but also check out this sick frame of me landing the throw with a foot inside of me. <laughs> uh, excellent. Yeah, I think uh, 2S might also beat 6P, I don't remember. Yeah, that's just oh, sort of a guess there. Okay, yeah, this one... I kind of cycle through options like this against Happy Chaos. Um, well, no, okay. So, I guess what happened here... This is just a hard, like, 50-50 left-right good luck if it crosses up, it, like collides here and just slides from here to the other side. It's fucked up. Um, yeah. <laughs> but this Maybe. one, yeah, you blocked it same side, which was either just like, you know, got the 50-50 right, or you recognize that I probably did not want to corner myself um, against yeah. burst. <laughs> I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say there that crossing up is like incredibly risky mm -hmm. because you have burst to just instantly burst Put, it, put them in the corner, and even if they cross up and get the hit, they're pushing you to mid-screen again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Be, always being aware of what resources you have, especially burst, because they can, like, instantly reverse the situation put you in the corner. Mm -hmm. Or that's yeah, I, also something to look for on defense. The way I think about it is Dude. generally in situations like this, um, the cross-up is more likely to hit. Not because it actually is, but because people are less ready to block cross up as like the level one a lot of the time <coughs> um it, like if they're not fully thinking about it then they'll block same side but then this happens all the time where i'm like wait but i don't want to be over there yeah and, okay all right uh yep yep i i overcommitted here i uh i'm like i have ice i dodged the curse time to go in and Missed the, um, reticle that was on me. <laughs> yeah. I think even then, yeah, airshing that far away from Happy Chaos is just kind of suicide. Yeah. Like, uh, at I... any point, they could just pull out the gun and shoot you. Well, attempt to shoot you in the air. Mm -hmm. I think what happened here, honestly, was I uh, was not completely sure I had gotten clear of the curse. Yeah, because that double <laughs> jump was kind of... Mm -hmm. Um, I do, uh, I'm curious, on this, uh, on this shot hitting, where you go into, like, concentrate instead, I don't know too much about, like, the Happy Chaos resource decision making. Um, it, I know that in general your, like, target is to get curse and concentration going to then just play the, you know, light gun block string forever game. Um, uh yeah, yeah pretty much it's like um uh i guess like unconcentrated or whatever he can shoot uh three times okay uh and then his concentration completely runs out and so a lot of the time when i'm like panicking during a match i'll just like if i get the if i see that um i get the steady aim shot i'll just mm -hmm. like concentrate immediately so that i can get that going <laughs> um and then like uh throw the curse ball right after usually Okay. Um, the spot there where I just like 5 s randomly was I uh, whiffed trying to aim. So and and then also okay so right here I mm -hmm. I like dropped the opening because I could have shot and then um, I could have mm -hmm. like started a combo there mm -hmm. but I panicked and so I just uh, canceled out of it with uh, the reload and then tried to shoot after I threw the curse ball. But I tried to do it too early, and so I like messed it up. And gotcha. then I, I did the input again, and since I, I did know that like uh, even if you're uncursed, when you're like in the air like that, usually uh, Happy Chaos can shoot if you just like wait a second, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, just like if you have enough hang time, it will give you time to lock on. Uh, if but, I was so, playing correctly with the shots too, I probably could have shot you twice there instead of once and then concentrated. That was actually uh, going to be my question initially, was like, in, you know, slow-mo freeze frame 
perfect decision making land uh was like do you agree with the concentrate here was there a different route you would have gone for that sort of thing oh i totally should have shot you twice there and then concentrated uh because the the concentration game is like fast enough to where uh oh yeah it it like overfilled i see oh, totally okay <laughs> okay Wait, when did i get hang on what did i get cursed it oh uh, my god I, okay well, I, I see I, I oh so i <laughs> i threw the curse ball um first instead of concentrate actually which is usually that's like you know that's better for being able to always hit with the curse and then i concentrated right after that yeah that makes sense i just like i i got hit in that interaction afterwards because i did not think i was cursed because even in hindsight slow-mo mode i didn't catch it <laughs> you're like i saw you pull out the gun and i'm like nice time to hit him yeah that shot was very lucky <laughs> no i mean that was a uh... That was good because you Usually recognized combo, that you had so. the curse. So I like, I, oh, wow, that went back way too far. In general, I think that's just like a really risky move to do when Millie is running up, uh, like on happy chaos like that. Um, especially cause I'm, I just have my back to the corner and I'm just mm -hmm. shooting. Yeah, it is yeah, with like no setup to lock down Millie before pulling out the, the gun. It does feel a bit risky, but mm -hmm. you had the curse hit, which technically could have been planned because it was you comboed into the curse on like wake up mm -hmm. so you knew that they were going to be cursed and that you could uh have the gun track faster so it's not this it is a risky decision but it's not i don't think it's that bad because they could expect shots and just stand still and then you get to start the pressure so it's more of like a you think they're <laughs> going to respect you mm -hmm. and then it just so happened to uh also stop them from just sprinting directly at you I would say that, um, because, yeah, like, in hindsight, this is not, like, automatically a bad decision or anything. Um, what I would say is, this is a situation that I'm sure will come up a decent amount. Maybe not, you know, sniping Amelia seven stories up into it, but, you know, like, back to the wall, get curse out, um, do concentrate and be, like, slightly minus. Uh, figuring out, like, what your options are and what the opponent can actually threaten here, I think is probably just going to be, like, important for future stuff. Um, because, like, here, I definitely started dashing as fast as possible. I think I could have hit a tipper max range far slash and traded here, but it doesn't actually look like I had a real threat outside of just, like, dash up block. <coughs> Which, yeah. this is and a also, steady aim shot, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, okay. yeah. It wasn't, um, I didn't wait for it, though, so if you had, like, um, instant blocked it, I think you might have been able to do something. Oh, okay, gotcha. Like, not enough time to get the guard crush uh, gotcha. hit. Yeah. yeah. It, but also, it's like to consider is the risk-reward on actually Melia hitting you, because... I don't know if Melia will actually build enough meter to super wall break. And even if Melia does, it's not that scary because Melia's post wall uh, break situation it, is kind That of is bad. correct against you. Um, Happy Chaos, I can just actually, like, meaty. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, Melia has an issue if, against. Even character. if you do. Hmm? I mean, even if you do meaty, it's just sort of like close slash. So it's it's not actually that scary. Even just trying not to defend. Mm -hmm. They're trying to defend with just, like, meter and, like, no no supers, no reversals or anything. That's fair. Well, the reason why Milia's uh, post-super wall break setup is so weak, though, is specifically because of reversals. Because she gets the safe jump, um, but you can either run up and close slash meaty or, like, tick throw or whatever. Um, or do the safe jump that leaves you plus nine and at a range where you literally cannot take advantage of it. <laughs> yeah. If you're like, well, outside of like backing off. Um, but against like HC, it can be rough. Uh, I do think that the, like the general damage differential here is like notable, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I think we've probably like over focused on this one. But I would yeah. say that, like, in general situations like this, I would look into 
more so that you can be like, okay, against Milia, here is the threats I need to watch out for. If you're against, like, I don't know, someone slower, like Kai, then uh, you probably have to watch out for Stun Dipper. <laughs> but outside of that, you're probably good to just pick this. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 it feels like against Kai, most of his options beat the gun, like his uh, far S and, and definitely yes. Stun Dipper and stuff. You're right, yeah, because he doesn't have to move as far even if he is slower. And hell, just Stun Edge. <laughs> I think even his 2H, like, hits pretty reliably. <laughs> or, uh, his 6H. Yeah. Yeah, Kai's kind of got some big buttons. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yep. Full screen. Amelia's fast. <laughs> so I guess, uh, here would be one of the things that you were mentioning beforehand, the, like, how you end up getting opened up or put on the back foot. Um, is this role just to try and take space in general, or are you trying to, like, dodge something? Um, if so, it's kind of just, like, uh, in, in general, it works out pretty well. It's just, I, I guess, is how I would describe why I roll, or, like, okay. right after I shoot. Because if it catches you, I can start comboing, and I was thinking of, like, you know, the carry so that I could mm -hmm. get out of the corner. Yeah, that um, makes sense. But then also, yeah, if if you block it, sometimes I can get away with, like, canceling my aim right after I roll or, like, grabbing you or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm not sure if, like, here you just hit me out of it, you know? It like, looks like it. I mean, it doesn't say punish, but it might be because you're, like, technically in an actionable state, but you, you know, yeah. have the gun out so you like, can't Like, before block. you've pressed the button... Mm -hmm. Or you just got hit standing because you didn't expect. Well, because this is the hit spark. Frame. Yeah. So I, I, mean, I yeah. assume that's roll recovery. I would say that this is probably the sort of thing to like really focus in on is um things where when you're like, okay, why did I do this? It generally works out because you do have the option to keep this safe. It's just more resource intensive. So, like, kind of reevaluating um, stuff like this is probably going to be the most impactful for improvement in general. It, at least yeah, the way I, I think about it. And personally, I think rolling here is actually, like, needlessly risky a lot of the times. Because I'm pretty sure just, like, a gunshot reload cancel puts you into, like, a better spot in this, in this situation. Because a... they got, they had to block. You then just cancel into something that basically makes it uh, actionable immediately, and then you can decide to press like your good buttons, like far slash or two s, to like wall Milia out. And if you do get the hit, you you just reloaded cancel, so you can like run up and press like I think like five k six s or like just start shooting them, or, like go back into stance and shoot again. So mm. I, I feel like just reload canceling is safer and gives you better opportunities to get out of the corner because you're not putting yourself into like a locked animation for a set amount of time and you're you're staying at like mid-range where Melia's buttons are worse than yours mm -hmm. yeah i definitely think reload canceling there was would have been the the right thing to do mm -hmm. and <laughs> i guess I, it has been a long time since i've actually talked about any of this stuff, so I don't know how much you've seen, or if you were even in the Discord at that point. Oh god, it has been a long time. Um, I... Oh no, fuck, I just lost what I was gonna say. Uh... Well, it'll come back to me. It's just one of those, like, general, like, improvement, like, default things that I have always found it helpful to put into words, but I'm sure it will come back to me in like five minutes when we're talking about something completely different. <laughs> He's uh, I'm all here today. Alright, that, yeah, it just guess high or low, or uh, this is also one where I could have gone for a cross-up, but did not want to get bursted. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Although, technically, can't you make that burst 
burst safe to uh, yes, but degree. if well, I can make it completely burst safe. Um, I do this and then I keep blocking. Okay, I went yeah. way too far forward. There we go. So what happened yeah. is I actually well this happens basically. I'm baiting burst, and then I Baited reacted cool. late and did close slash. But yeah, you have to like if I press the button to actually pick up off of it, you can burst that. Also, I think fearing the corner here too much is like, it, it is scary, but you're still not full screen against Happy Chaos of Happy Chaos Burst, so it's, I don't know how you feel about like trying to get in on Happy Chaos full screen, but mm. I think it's Happy Chaos being mm. bursted to the corner doesn't matter as much because Happy Chaos has so much corner carry, he can carry you to the other corner anyway. That's time. fair, actually. Yeah, because and you're closer to Happy Chaos. You you are quite literally in like close slash throw range if he bursts you into the corner there, which hmm. puts the strain. It, like it puts you in a, a situation where it is kind of guessing, but you're guessing next to him and not full screen. So the, I actually think I think that the thing in my head was I would rather be full screen against him now than uh, full screen against him while cursed. And he's in positive. Because <laughs> if HC yeah. does get the wall break, then I, it's like effectively round over. Um, yeah, but I mean, but, like, if you yeah. get bursted here, your health huddle is low enough. Yeah, I probably just die. I think you might not hit. get in again. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I actually think, like, fearing the corner too much is a. Uh, yeah, I think that could against be against happy chaos specifically. Yeah, that's a good point. Just because Let me actually, yeah. Um, also, the top review one says Chari. <laughs> yeah, I copied the template over. Or by template, mm -hmm. I mean uh, what I did last time. Yeah. Okay. Hey. There we go. Uh, let's see. The other thing that we talked about for Moon River was the right back to wall situation. Stuff. Maybe being too afraid of being quite. Full screen. I put three E's in that. There we go. B -b -b bursted? <laughs> A full screen. Well, uh, kind of a drop for a drop here. Um, <coughs> I guess, uh, in hindsight, slow mo, etc. Land. Do you think that this uh, RC was like good? If you know, assuming the combo got converted, or that it would have been better to keep the pressure and save it for a super wall break? Uh, no, I I think that was probably good because if I had converted it, I would have just gotten a wall break and the. It feels like the positive bonus for mm -hmm. Happy Chaos is so, like, incredibly yeah. good. Yep, I agree. I, to be honest, there's, like, a small... Well, no, probably not off throw, but I was gonna say there's, like, a small chance I just die here anyways. <laughs> but... Yeah. I also want to say, I think baiting the burst there is, like, fine, but baiting it too long, obviously not great, but you shouldn't really have to fear a burst here too much for similar reasons why... For, like opposite reasons because you're the happy chaos if you get bursted to full screen you're full screen and amelia still has to approach and look mm -hmm. at her health like bursting here is like kind of throwing for amelia mm -hmm. because you're like the happy chaos is like not even half health and you're almost dead you're dead to like one combo so like bursting is like a hail mary and doing that on round one is kind of not good at all so i i would never expect the burst here <laughs> I will say, um, I mostly agree with you. Uh, I would also not expect a burst here, but bursting early against Happy Chaos is super, super important. Because yeah. the, he has uh, like many hit combos, so you will get it back, and uh, you get very few chances, so you might as well take all of them that you get. Worst yeah, case scenario, so like, he I baits would... it, and then he used resources. Yeah, so like here, I would like bait the burst since you use the RC anyway, but I wouldn't bait it too long. Or I would actually just straight up go for like a quick RC combo, just because that has better scaling and will, might actually kill Milia. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I, I, I actually learned uh, a better, like, thing to do when Roman canceling the throw. Because he oh. can, like, drift back and then steady aim and shoot. And I think yeah. that might be burst safe. I would but, assume um, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds extremely burst safe. Yeah. yeah that. <laughs> yep. Okay. Throw, RRC, do the new combo. Drift back, steady aim. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the, that was just like a combination of greed and like uh, muscle memory and like scrambling mm-hmm. when I realized that you weren't going for the first. Yep. Aha. Okay. I I remembered the thing from like five minutes ago. Um, when so the thing we were talking about at that point was uh, oh the roll um, the to quote Smash rolling habit. Uh, recognizing it is. Like, this is probably something you already know, but I think it's good to, like, put it into words again as a reminder. Um, when, like, trying to adjust something like that, whether it's, like, an autopilot in a different situation or things like that, uh, like you were saying with the, like, shot into roll being, like, sort of an autopilot habit thing, um, recognizing when it happens in match is, like, the first step. So recognizing it and being like, ah, shit, I just did it is totally fine and is still like a win because you're remembering that or you're like recognizing it so that the next time you can actually remember in time this is like mm-hmm. half stated for you half for the vod but yeah <laughs> oh, through it please uh anyways yeah uh combo drop for combo drop to milia okay this is I'm sure you know, but this one is, like, just a raw guess. Oh, uh... It Stream says paused. The, yeah. Yeah. Stream paused. Better? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What the hell, OBS? Okay. Uh, anyways, yeah, just raw 50-50. And yep, I learned my lesson from uh, baiting the birth last time, so I got hit by it. I... And remembering that I actually did this several times throughout this set, um, as a, just like, it's kind of a high commit. This is not super high commitment, um, it's just high resource investment for, like, big burst movement, but doing, uh, the Mirage S-Disc, because it's, like, pretty quick and goes most of the screen. Um, <coughs> so I... This might just be, like, an option that you're not thinking about, so you, like, weren't ready for it, because it is just, like, hi, I'm in. <laughs> into RC. Yeah, I, I was just uh, dashing at you and hoping mm-hmm. for the best. Like, you just <laughs> hit me right out of the out of the dash. Yeah, but, uh, because, I mean, like, wanting to get out of the corner, that makes sense. This actually might be a slight autopilot of mine after getting burst. It, well, maybe specifically against Happy Chaos. <laughs> um, But this is one where... It's honestly kind of hard to deal with if you don't, like, stuff before the S-Disc or something. Um, but if you think it's coming, you can, like, try and maneuver around it or, like... I don't know, super jumping is kind of risky because I can do the RC and then C and go for an air throw. But if I do this, then it still cost me 50 meter. And uh, Milia's meter gain is one of the worst in the game. Um... So, with that, plus the RC lockout, this is probably the remainder of the meter I will get for the round. <laughs> Unless it goes to, like, you know, another 20-30 seconds. Uh, this one, though, connects, and I dropped it. Uh, done correctly, I can get the close slash pickup here, and I would have just taken the wall break for, um, for the super. For that. Yeah. For meter. That's the word I'm trying to say. Do you, know, Do you think I could uh, 6P the, the S-Disc? Uh, yes. The risk there is that either I do the Giga Brain call out and do Hair Car here instead, which counter hits low and just gets me a combo without meter. Um, or if I, like, you know, don't do this from... Because you'd have to input 6P, like, here. I don't know. Happy Chaos is, goes fairly quick, so, like, here... But even then, it might just, like, 
uh, it's still kind of a big call out for yeah like that position where and that pos same position you could very easily just start zoning maybe not easily but <coughs> you well, maybe you can't start zoning here against Amelia, but like you're like basically full screen when you press six p so it's like eh. so kind to, of a risky well, i guess here's the thing exactly. um at like so this is a 30 fps recording um we'll say that you can like tell that so yeah here's the estes kit uh so one two three four five six seven eight uh to go for like 16 frame reaction time if you're like looking for it and you know what you're doing you would have had to have seen it and input here with like the like average reaction time and input delay and all that sort of shit which is like still full screen part. so it, it's just like a massive call out that's, yeah that's the first like you can tell that it's mirage and not literally just moving frame <laughs> So I think that this is more one that just when Milia or whoever has 50 meter, like with a burst option, um, you can sort of treat this as a super, like, janky ghetto stun dipper type deal. <laughs> but just like to be mindful of it. Because I, I remember this coming up several times throughout. Uh, I will say this you could probably have 6 P'd because this was... Uh, me doing a panic oh god i dropped it but it's a scramble and i have options that could hit 6p here um instead of air dashing so you know just pressure stuff uh do you know what you went for here that got hit oh um i was like uh i'm not sure i was either trying to like retaliate with like a button like 5k or something or i was trying to fuzzy like uh like an overhead or a lower or something like that okay. i i might have just like my finger might have just like slipped on the fair opening I, too. I know how that goes but uh i think that transitions into oh really okay i'm actually gonna critique myself here why the fuck would i go for this route against happy chaos this is the you don't get mix you get a safe jump route uh and then i also missed the safe jump because i was trying to go for a double overhead because you successfully Oh no, okay, you were still invincible. I was gonna say, I thought you successfully crouched my overhead. <laughs> okay. That is gonna be important to talk about. So, yeah, you block out the frame traps. When I'm here, uh, this is a situation where I tend to overcommit, so this is something I need to take away. <laughs> um, my options are to just let the 5H recover if I have gone all the way here for some reason. Um, which is, like, you can call it out and press a button and punish it, minus, but I do have cancel options, of course. Uh, I can Mirage, which is what I do, because I'm incredibly greedy, and I'm like, yes, I'm going to land a throw here, but, you know, you're ready for that. Um... I can, like, S-Disc if I decide I want to die, <laughs> which does happen sometimes. I need to stop that. Um, but also, I can do uh, Mirage Cancel into Lust Shaker, which does have a gap that can be mashed uh, from, like, 2p or 5p or things like that, but um, Lust Shaker is only minus 5. I could also Lust Shaker here, but I think it would whiff, which makes that a really weird, scary situation. Um, it's like, if I keep mashing it, it gets longer, but it also gets more minus, and then it becomes, like, minus nine, and I don't actually know how fast you can hit that range as Happy Chaos, but... Um, I think, like... I think his 5p would whiff, and that's, like, five frames, I think. Mm -hmm. I forget what his 5p uh, Can you see is. the mouse on the screen? I can. Okay. Yeah, Lush Shaker Mash would push me to probably, like, here-ish. So I guess it'd probably be safe at that range. Yeah. There's not much that can contest minus mm. 10 at that range. Because that's, like, the range that Kai aims to push for. And that's, like, yeah. with the... What is it? Whatever that move is. It's yeah. pretty hard to contest Double minus check. 10 there. 5H is... You do get oh, a, like, take right. turn back. I the think they, part. uh, I forgot. One of the patches, they made, uh, 5H only minus 8 instead of, like, double digits. <laughs> so I guess the correct answer here is to just 
stop. Just fucking press 5H and then leave. Um, <coughs> anyways, yeah, throw attack. Um, tried to whiff punish it. Did. Okay, this is actually... Um, so the other thing you could do earlier instead of roll is kind of play the anti-ram game. Where it's like, okay, I am in the corner, I have a couple ways to get out, but the only real ones are uh, defensively dash block or defensively jump. <laughs> um, I think that you were doing a lot of the jump option throughout the set, which was mostly working. It's actually like the first real interaction we had this set was that. Um, and then I actually tried to call it out here, but you did like a delayed one. And that was just a, like, reaction. I was, like, looking for the roll there. Mm -hmm. Help, I've been punched. <laughs> uh, could you have gotten wall break here? Uh, if if I had rolled um after, like, the second shot, I'm, I might have been able to wall break, but I don't think I had enough oh, concentration. Oh, yeah, the concentration. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> oh, yeah. That execution was a, yeah. a with curse, yeah. Baseball. Yep. Let me let me see. Did I try and avoid it successfully? Uh, I would. I been think hit. that would have avoided the jump arc. No, maybe I, you had to jump a bit earlier. Yeah, earlier. I jumped too late. Um, okay, sorry. What? Uh, well, okay. The hit here was oh god, I whiffed the thing. Scramble time. I fucked up that combo. Okay. Good. This is something I've been really thinking about as Geo. Uh, I go to tick throws a lot. I didn't even get the dash on this one, but also you just like correctly jumped. Um, I need to go for throws a lot less because they like they're likely to work in sort of the same way as like the cross up air dash, but uh, <coughs> because you know you have to do like something specific to call it out. But man, the risk. <laughs> I I think it is almost always better. Uh, to do like three times as much strike as throw unless you're like specifically calling out a habit or something uh, or I guess have meter to RC but I'm not going to be trying to do that as Milia if I have meter I'm going to bad moon or low <laughs> wow I actually dodged that curse uh okay Got the hit. Uh, what was the run forward here? Was it just like trying to call out ground movement, or? Uh, that that was just that's just running at you. Okay, fair enough. I uh, I feel that too. So but I actually I guess... think expecting Happy Chaos to advance there isn't such like a foreign thing because uh, Lunarver's running out of resources. One bullet true uh well i guess reloading a bullet and like no concentration so they can't really use the gun at like full range so mm -hmm. I, yeah it's so like i'm i'm usually hoping that i can just get like a 5k into success there or something like that yeah because then it confirms into getting your resources back right mm -hmm. yeah okay so that I, that's like more something for ag to think about yeah looking at the meters and recognizing when the happy chaos wants to approach. Yep, I sure did forget to look at the meter even in this version. <laughs> Slow mo time stop, etc. Mm -hmm. yep. Another tick through. Yeah, I. So obviously that was like an execution error of I just straight up did it too early, but also uh, repeat my statement earlier about going for throws too much. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> was this a... Uh... So it looks like you might have been slightly... No, you, you look like you're at about the range where 6P would hit. So I think I just... Or uh, 6S would hit. But I think I just reloaded too many bullets. Yeah, I think you did one too many. Because 6S... Here. <laughs> yeah, nor nor it, uh, normally I can do like three or four. But I don't know. You might have accidentally canceled into reload too late. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, like, it's probably a, slightly... it could be a combination of them. No, I think okay, yeah, because freeze stops here. So you got one, two, three, four, and then the cancel. 
And then we get Three here. Bullets. It's like one, uh, one, two. <laughs> so yeah, it was just a light cancel there. I am not. I need to start using things that aren't close slash to anti air. <laughs> I think a falling jump yeah, S think... would have just exploded me. <laughs> Yeah, I think with Milia, rising air normals are pretty good because mm -hmm. you can actually cut combos off them. And like, air throw is okay; just it's fast. Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, here I'd probably want to press six B because the air dash is already used. Yeah. Um, and That's if it true. counter hits, then I get like good disco key. Yeah, but usually I when I see air uh, air dashes, <laughs> I'm like guaranteed air throw because uh, it's also obviously different because I play Leo because I can get back turn off of it. Mm -hmm. So I, j I see the air dash, and I'm like, I can guarantee air throw this. Uh, I don't get close slash media off all heights okay. of air throw. So I, it's actually part of why I've been going for it so much less. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, I actually remember. I went for disc here specifically, and like I went for the single hit overhead safe one, because I'm like, is there a YRC coming? And then you successfully waited. <laughs> yeah. Oh, expecting a what? burst? No, because if I was expecting a burst, I would have jump cancelled. I... I think I expected this close slash to drop. Huh. Because I just, like, didn't. <laughs> and then scramble into throw. So mm. I, I'm i going for a lot of, like, tick throws and scramble into throw, specifically because it is the fastest option, um, and if I can, like, weave Exert in... player. <laughs> well, <coughs> partially <laughs> that, and partially uh, if I land the throw, I cannot be shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, okay. Old habit. I see a projectile, I'm like, I have to block this. <laughs> and then you get hit? Oh, uh... But it, it's FP? curse. Oh, it's... Oh. Yeah. I guess I mean getting hit immediately after. Uh, I think that was me going, Wait, no, I have to jump! <laughs> and just doing it late. It's the same... I have this, like, problem with... Like, for example, if I'm looking for 6P against, like, Dolphin, for example... I will block the dolphin and then be like, aha, 6P was the answer, and then I'll press it. And yeah. then I will die. <laughs> also, I think... Well, I don't know how relevant this is for you, but when I approach, approach Happy Chaos from, like, full screen, and they're not set up zoning yet, I like to dash jump, because they almost always immediately throw curse, and just dash jump just gets over it. Mm -hmm. So I almost always autopilot that when I'm not cursed, and they don't have gun out yet. Fair enough. Because... They, they have to, like, just start shooting if they want to stop me from jumping the curse. Okay. That was, um... This combo, lack of extension, was because of being too low on concentration, right? Uh, you mean when I, like, hit you against the wall and then... Uh, uh, let's see. Or you mean right there where I... Yeah, just, I, like, I right focus? here. Yeah, so that yeah. was because concentration? Okay. Yep, makes sense. Help. I did not dash block. Uh, execution error, or were you trying to let Panic. me tech off the wall into... Okay. Because <laughs> I was going to say, this is something that uh, Tyler and I were actually talking about, uh, about, like, letting people off the wall, especially if you're in, like, a good situation, like having me cursed, for example. Uh, and the answer was, wow, you are very invincible forward teching. Like, Also, even, like very... even on curse, you're, you're still cursed post wall break, so it doesn't really change the situation except for distance. Mm -hmm. Really? But yeah, if it was just like a panic, oh god, I need my resources back, then like, fair enough. This S-Disc, I need to just not do ever. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. I still have this muscle memory from, like, launch patch, because it was the only vaguely safe-ish bailout um and by that i mean you had to uh it was the hey please don't press against the button before you'll get hit by this uh also it's like 
plus one at tipper range <laughs> bailout. Uh, I need to stop doing this. Stop doing Justice in Fox Strings. Luckily at this range I was safe even from 2S, but... Wow, that... Okay, I'm impressed that I got that. To stay same side. Why did you run up 2P? Uh, I'm trying to bait my RC here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Understandable. Something it's... like that... You need to remember, you can kill people with meter. Yep. I, um... <laughs> let me see. What was my meter at here? Yeah, so I... One of the things that I've been thinking about is I'm pretty sure that if I do, like, <coughs> close slash here, I'd... Ah, uh, no, I wouldn't have... Or no, I think it's you get 50 meter on the last hit of Bad Moon <laughs> if I do close slash Bad Moon here. But no, this was me trying to be like, okay, there's 50 meter... Happy Chaos is low on health. They will either, like, try and do, like, backdash or something, or YRC. I guess you just weren't expecting to get 50 meter on the throw hit, because you definitely could have killed if yeah, you actually got throw. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to. I'm still, like, not used to looking for positive in all the right ways, and the YRC bait stuff has been pretty new. Um, I will say, like, this YRC is fine. This was me just doing a big call out on it. Yeah, because you basically lose all pressure. Well, I guess good pressure if you mm -hmm. try to call that out too much. Yep. But that was the sort of thing where I went for the 2P, 2P, 2 bait YRC. So it was still like at the top of my mental stack to look for. Um, which I don't know how much knowing that is like, aha, so in the future, if people are obviously scouting for one option, that means I should not do it more because I don't think that's how that works. But. I guess just, like, explaining how that happened. <coughs> there was me going for Is the 6P it... round start. Because you hit me with far slash last time. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? No, I was going to say, when it comes to, like, the... Oh, I saw them bait YRC, I won't YRC. That's, like, a player read thing. Mm -hmm. Because on the tower, or I guess online, I found that when someone baits my burst, I just will not burst. Because then they'll bait it three more times, and I'm like, no. <laughs> but okay. It, yeah. It's a very there player are there are definitely thing. some people that you can be like you are going to bait my burst six times and just give me an extra four health bars for it. Yeah, but it's also something when I see if I try to bait a burst and I don't see them burst, I just do will not bait burst anymore. Yeah, same. So it's like one of those things you have to read the player on to get an advantage on the fifty fifty. Yep. But, Honestly, I am generally of the opinion, Happy Chaos is like one of the few times where I don't fully agree, um, but that you just don't bait burst. Um, I do it out of like almost habit. It's like, yeah, they're going to do it here. But I think that just getting hit, hit by burst and being like, nice, they don't have it <laughs> is generally better. <coughs> okay. Uh... Let's see. When you chose jump here for round start, Moon River, what was the uh, thought process? Uh, it's usually just pretty safe against people for mm -hmm. round start. Like I, I can, you know, block if you're six peeing or whatever. Or like here, it didn't hit me, and so I um I should have uh, done the the two K there instead mm -hmm. of jumping because I think it would have hit you, but I like panicked and just jumped again okay that's um yeah i guess that's sort of more specifically what i was asking was rather than like why did you pick it in the first place because like yeah it, it's safe that's why i go for jump forward block and like 50 percent of my round starts <laughs> um, it's more uh i have been trying to drill it into my head that i am not choosing jump forward block i am choosing jump forward look for one or two things in particular and like have that queued up and be like okay if i see them jump i'm just going to press uh jump ass or air throw or if i see them with this move i will press something on the way down otherwise i will just keep like going defensive <coughs> so yeah nor normally when i do this i i just guess like if i have a feeling that you might jump after me i'll like uh jump k like immediately you mm -hmm. know 
Yeah, I do the same thing with Rising Jump S. Um, I, I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is try and, like, conceptualize it as when you're picking your round start, like, you're specifically being like, I am doing this because I think they might 6P for this example. Uh, and if they do, I will just do this. Because uh, otherwise, that's how you get into situations like this, where you're like, oh god, they did something. Give myself a second jump for a chance to, like, react and decide. Because you have to decide on the fly if you don't have, like, the response prepped, so to speak. Which is why it ended up not quite working out. I think you still hit me though, right? Oh no, we traded. <coughs> I'm oh, sorry, I just want to go see how this... Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this hitbox is active on my jump age. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, that was Hello, a good... Uh... <laughs> Wait, that, that punished your landing. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck. <Anyway. laughs> so the, uh, the last airborne frame is uh throwable and otherwise counted as landing it's been the same since exert it's like this weird engine quirk thing um but it like it makes the ground collision detection take priority <laughs> it's bizarre anyways <coughs> yeah I i'm assuming you did not expect that 6p to hit either no that's yeah. why i first right after yeah okay this is a, one of the things i wanted to just mention because it's really easy to miss it um so normally i would start the disc here um because that gives me the safe jump doesn't work against like seven frame dps but it does against eight so against a lot of characters uh luckily for me i don't have to care about that against happy chaos so normally the rps here is i uh try and pause the video and fail um i do either the safe jump overhead that hits really low, um, and is just you stand block it, or I do literally anything else, which can be fuzzy jumped. Um, however, Happy Chaos doesn't have a DP, and I I guess I still need to test this against a 6P, um, it might work. But because I'm not worried about that, I can instead of going single overhead low, I can do the disc later, which technically gives you a little bit more time to move. There is a chance you can 5P out of this or something. <laughs> but I get a second overhead here, which blows up just like the normal fuzzy guarding. However, um, and this is the thing I was talking about Diamond Mew with, this one actually works out, and I'm 10,000% should have just supered. Um, normally the second disc hit hits here, and then wall breaks. <laughs> I don't get the super wall break. Um... But basically, that's just, like, something to be aware of, is as Happy Chaos, or Axel without meter, um, you'll see me do this as well, uh, watch for the double overhead, you kind of have to, like, visually confirm. I can also air dash cancel here, for, like, even more overheads. Yeah, I, uh... I don't know how true this is of the general player or, like, the general Milia player, but I know that I do this thing where if I wanted to super wall break, I have already mentally committed the 50 meter, and so I'm like, all right, I'm using the 50 meter. And then I do this. Or S-Disc PRC. <laughs> I think something for moon River is to look it is to find better burst points because oftentimes i'm seeing you have burst when you're really low on life or low on rounds instead of trying to pick uh spots earlier because against melia you also want to burst early because melia's combos take a ton of hits which builds you a ton of burst mm -hmm. here, well, I guess here you have so, burst at the start of the okay yeah. well yeah there's no burst here um i was going to say by default, you want to burst Milia once you visually confirm the startup here, because it is guaranteed unless I, like, super hard call it out with a RC. Um, but it's also, like, this is slow enough that you can react to me going airborne here and press burst. Obviously if you have it, but just, like, for future reference.
Uh, off throw, that is less the case. Okay. Like, technically, burst would have hit here realize... because I went for the other I one. I didn't but... realize how low on life you got the burst back on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's, like, a good in general thing as well, though. Um, though, the other rule is if you are bursting against Milia, you do not burst close slash. Um, I still need to actually learn it, but uh, I can just OS burst here. Um, also, YRC. Don't YRC close slash. <laughs> uh, if I either go into an air route, which I can't hear off this hit, or do any of the confirms here, then it is a guaranteed burst point, though. It's like, I can't do anything if you burst 6H or 2H or etc. Burst point, Milia. Uh, especially as Happy Chaos, because Burst is, like, not just nice, I'm out of Milia's pressure, or, like, Wincon, but it's also into yours. <laughs> Round start here. I missed what I did. Why did oh, I hit the, hit the air dash? Yeah, why did <laughs> I try and... You're like, I know that this loses. I literally don't know why I did this. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, good, uh, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I... Hmm. I don't know what it is, but something is odd about the neutral that we played here. Um... I was thinking you might have uh, dashed forward, and I, and then you could have like blocked the six P, and I could have gotten um, the stagger off of that uh, really easy, and then just cursed you. Sure. I guess more than anything, I'm confused about like what I'm doing here, like what ranges I'm trying to hold. But anyways, yeah, basically just like back and forth with, and wow, that picked up. This is a great burst point. Um, <laughs> you're high on health, uh, if, like, if I hit you with 6H, just, like, congrats, you get a burst. Um, which is very difficult to avoid on ground routes that are any good. <laughs> which would then throw me into the corner, and you're, like, doing pretty decently on resources. I think I see the glow from Concentrate as well. Yeah. So, and uh, with the way Milia's combos work, because there are just so many little hits, uh, you will probably get burst back by at least halfway through next round anyways. Instead of getting in this situation. Yeah, I think in general I need to think more um, about bursts, uh, or less about bursts as like a way to interrupt combos or like stop myself from dying, uh, and more like the spacing stuff, mm -hmm. because it seems yeah. really particularly helpful for a uh, happy chaos like yeah. even when other yeah. people burst me mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah and it's I, something good it's, it's something that i think of as it, it's not actually just a defensive tool you can use it offensively like if you ha if you're doing offense and then you get poked out you can like insta burst to take your turn back again and keep mm -hmm. the pressure up which is less relevant for Happy Chaos because he doesn't like necessarily need to stay close to you his You see, opponent, but, Happy like, Chaos bursting offensively is gold burst into GG shake my hand. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's less that burst is just a defensive mechanic. It's This is for positioning. It's to deny my opponent resources. It's mm -hmm. to take away some opponent's resources because like if someone does an RC combo and then immediately does something that's 100% burstable, burst that shit, they've lost 50 meter. And meter gain for the next, like, six seconds. Um, same yeah, sort of deal as, like, if Nago hits you with far slash one, two, and you, like, see three start, fucking just burst that shit. He, he does not yeah. deserve that blood back. Um, burst is a way to deny your opponent resources. More, I think more so than getting... It, 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 it's used um, for, like, taking away resources a lot of the time, or can be. I would say that very specifically, uh, the priority of things to burst is... Oh god, I'm going to die first, obviously. Um, second is, it like depends more on the character, but it's like setups. Like you, against Leo, you just burst turbulence. Just every time. Just if you can get out of that situation and go back to playing neutral against him, you're just like, all right, 
fuck that move. I yeah. don't want this Oki. Yeah. He we, can't Leo block has it. Like, Leo has a billion guaranteed burst points. It's just mm -hmm. about which one you choose. Yeah, uh, Milia is the same way. Uh, Zato would be if he couldn't break the law. <laughs> Etc. Cetera, et cetera. If he couldn't break the law. <laughs> what a sentence. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, just 50 50 there. Okay, I'm going to call myself really dumb for this. The thing that you never do as Milia is use all of your air options, like super jump, air dash, capital. <laughs> Good, uh,. Good job just hitting me. <laughs> Giving me the stop being dumb slap. <laughs> oh, um, this is actually something that I haven't, like, it hasn't come up too much because I've been doing a lot better about, like, dodging curse or just getting in by throwing meter at the problem. Um, something that you've started doing recently that is very, very good is, like, these weights. Where it, it's no longer possible to just like tap fd to like the block string rhythm or know when it's safe to move because like obviously you're taking a little bit more risk by giving me the option to if i had just decided nah fuck that i'm doing dash 2k then it would have won but like why would i do that <laughs> if i take that then you get to kill me if you don't do this so like it adds a way weighted in your favor rps yeah, that was something that um, I, like, saw recently, because I, like, just, like, the past month got into Celestial Floors, Happy Chaos, mm -hmm. and I was playing against other Happy Chaoses and stuff, and just watching what they were doing, and I noticed that they were delaying the shots a lot of the time um, to get that, like, stagger, which uh, makes you more safe for, like, concentrating and reloading and stuff like that. Sure, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good place to pull from. It's also, I think, um, if I'm more proactive about, like, seeing when people jump over the curse balls, I can aim early and then still shoot them out of the air mm -hmm. most of the time. Yep. I, uh, I guess I just realized I don't think I've seen you go for... I don't know what they are, I just know that they exist. There are setups where, like, if someone air blocks a bullet, you get a guaranteed curse because it they, like, fall into it. Yeah. <laughs> It's a. Yeah, it's it's a like, I guess that's sorry. That's technically what happened the first game with the uh, the invisible curse ball. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just you shoot and then throw the curse and they just fall into it if they block it. Yeah, fair enough. Usually, yeah. Because you can, yeah, because you can cancel the uh, stance directly into special. So you just right. Sort of do okay, it. that's what it is. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. This. Hmm. So I want to say that, like, backing off and reloading here is very risky for not that great of return, but I'm not sure what to say. It's like, oh, hey, don't do that isn't helpful, <laughs> because there's, like, obviously a reason you're doing it. You need resources, you're out of bullets. But, um, <laughs> I, like, on the one hand, playing footsies here and just being like, all right, if I get a hit, I get bullets is fine. But this is also like meter versus meter, which makes everything way scarier. Um, yeah, I don't. Know. I mean, my opinion: guess... it you you either choose to take bullets or fight for bullets, mm -hmm. and like choosing bullets means you're probably gonna get in block unless they're really respecting, uh, or yeah. just fighting for bullets. You have the chance of getting hit and getting comboed more easily. So. It, just mixing up which one you go for can throw your opponent off or make them less sure what they want to do. I agree. So I, I, um, I was going to say, in like in hindsight vision, like if we're here and you don't know that I'm going to pull all the way up, do you think that that was um, like a choice that you would make again? Or do you think that there would be a like better default option or anything like that? Oh, like are you saying if you hadn't yeah, run like, up to me? Screen is right here. We don't know what happens next. Uh, you, but like time stops, you have to make a decision. Do you think uh, that like pulling bullets is like a fine one, or do you think that it's like, oh no, I definitely should have gone for one of these instead, or I don't know, like cloned or something? Yeah, I, I think in this specific context, 
uh, cloning like would have been better because I, I I can reload behind the clone and then I, I think the way the like um, the reloading works is that the more bullets I reload the more like frame advantage I have for when you approach me like I can cancel out of it uh, faster basically. Okay, yeah, I think that I think it's just that the later bullets like load faster or something. I'm not sure. I know it. I know like vaguely what you're talking about. I don't know the specifics of it though. But also, I, I, oh, go ahead. Oh, I, I was just gonna say that. Um, in general, though, just the I think the reloading was totally fine. But I, I okay. think clone probably would have been more helpful here. Okay. Um. Ah. Uh, ooh. Okay. Actually, I'm going to. I was going to say I agree. Uh, I think that not cloning here was actually probably a good idea. <laughs> because I just remembered I had 50 meter, so I would have done run up, yeah, 2k, RC. red RC, uh, which I guess wouldn't have gotten me a super wall break, but like, you know. <laughs> I think, oh, uh, I guess with our, our, red, our RC, you're not going to build enough yeah, meter I'm not building for meter it. off that combo. Okay. But I think another thing to consider in this spot is... Both players should know that you're out of bullets, so yeah, that the is other player is going to up. approach. <laughs> yeah, the other player is going to approach. They're looking to get in and hit you, so looking to just air dash over them or just otherwise escape the corner because you're getting closer to the wall is also a fine idea. You just swap positions, basically, and which is net advantageous for you because you're out of the corner now. And the uh, opponent might not necessarily expect that because they're like, oh, they want bullets. They want resources. They'll try to do that or they'll fight. And you just say, nah, fuck that. I'm going to flee. I'm going to go over you. Take the Milia option later. Yeah. I'm I mean, going up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's a good mix up when people don't expect you to just run away instead of fight or reload. Mm -hmm. I will say, it, in this it, specific situation, I think that the last time something like this happened was the one where I tried to chase into the air, so. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, like, in general, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good bird. I, completely unrelated. You know it'd be really nice in the patch? If I get a fucking counter hit 6H, let me turbo fall and block the burst, please. Because <laughs> this is just fully guaranteed. Well, yes, but you also have 100 meter. So I'm pretty sure you see that counter hit and just immediate RC and be like, I'm looking for burst because you are you got a huge counter hit. That's fair. That's So fair. that's like a big <laughs> in, call. In this situation, I agree. <laughs> I just mean like in general, please. <laughs> or yeah. like... Is it... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's the, the S-Disc PRC again. Because, again, this is just, like, hello, I have teleported three quarters of the screen with a projectile at you. So. This was the one, also, that I was talking about at the dinner afterwards, where I'm like, wow, I actually converted this into a super. <laughs> mm. Surprised my hands let me do that. Uh, Turbo Fall can be cancelled into... Can it be cancelled into ground specials? No. Just air. Okay. Yep. Uh, Add that in the patch. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, specifically so you can turbo fall super, I think. Okay. So, real quick. A, initially, just like good footsies. I was not trying to backdash here. I distinctly remember I, like, went to hit throw... But I did the thing where I'm like, I'm playing Exert for some reason. I have to let go of forward and then press it again to throw. And I got backdash. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I dodged a bullet. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, so this one was like, I was ready for the option. Uh, you probably didn't actually deserve to get hit this hard for it. <laughs> but <laughs> normally it would have just been a throw into throw key. Mm -hmm. oh, let me look at this because this is like pretty specific um <coughs> okay now now i was going to say you might have been out of uh falling jump s range so you might have just been able to hold up and get out here but it would have just barely hit so this is like a real mix-up 
But also, knowing that as the not Milia player, you need to fight so much Milia to, like, yeah, see yeah. that shit. Yeah. Well, that is uh, specifically why I am pointing it out, because, like, yeah, good luck if you just, like, try to figure it out on your own. This character has so much, like, little tiny specific shit. Because, yeah, like, if, uh, if the jump pass would have whiffed here, you can literally hold up back and you're just, like, free. But that is not the case. <laughs> I don't think that there's really too much to say about the neutral interaction here, honestly. Like, I was successfully, like, dodging curse while also not committing to something that could really be shot. Unless I guess you could technically shoot my landing frame if you decide to spend a bullet on trying to be frame perfect or whatever. But, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, you have concentration, and then that was just, like, it's a neutral mix-up. Did I go in on the curse and take it or go airborne again? So, like, I don't think that that was a misplay or an error at all. Just one of those, like, did not guess correctly. I think you yeah. were a little too close for me to be steady aiming there. On a... On this one? Here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Like, like yeah. I, I should have done something else there. I... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because that burst range is, like pretty decent to like stuff it that's fair i th so my read on this like why i picked this is because i had neutral jumped the last uh two of these so i was like okay she's going to think i'm going to neutral jump again i am just going to take the curse and chase um because i think that that was one where if i had neutral jumped then the steady aim was good and it was just that i like went for the next layer mix up Mm -hmm. I don't know though. That is a, uh, that is my guess as the Milia player, as the Happy Chaos player. I definitely will like defer to your judgment. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's also a range where Happy Chaos can box pretty effectively with the slash buttons. That's true up as with well. The, uh, good shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this was a uh, trying to bait the YRC. Did not immediately see it, so I went for the. I'm glad this isn't Leo. Because <laughs> that 2D is definitely press... not on the ground. <laughs> yeah, but also, like, I pressing 2D in this situation, for me, I'm like, I would never do that as Leo. You I'm are literally lying. You've done it. <laughs> hey, no, that's me trying to press 2K 2D and accidentally hitting 2D and 2K okay. too early. Fair enough, fair enough. I thought you were trying to tick throw, so that mm -hmm. was like a, a messed up grab. I... Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. I was going to say, because I was, but yeah, 2D is just, like, slightly too slow. But you were probably, it was diagonal plus D, I'm guessing, gives 2D. Yeah, probably. Okay. And uh, also, I should specify that uh, the other reason I went for throw here, uh, specifically, instead of another 2P, was because... Unburstable. Yeah, unburstable. Also, I figured if I got bursted, I'm like, I have positive... I can S disc PRC shenanigans and hopefully I'd have to lose neutral twice to die instead of once here. <laughs> also, this might be a specific thing that AJ does a lot, but uh, when you're low in life and a throw will kill, the throw is much more potent because you only need one. Mm -hmm. You only. So I tend to look out for more throws when I'm low in life because I know at least AJ likes going for that to kill. Yep. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people do because they know it's unburstable and the it uh it kills. Yeah. It's also really fast, so I honestly yeah. I think that that's the main reason why people generally pick it is it is the fastest option, so you mash it when you like need something to hit. <coughs> yeah. I know anyway, that only took like an hour, right? <laughs> uh slightly more. Um <coughs> Yeah, I, well, we'll talk about, a. <laughs> we'll do the VOD review for the VOD review in a second, I guess. But, uh, I guess, real quick, like, recap stuff. Um, 
Let's see. For me, I think that the big takeaway was uh, focusing on dodging curse was a very significant upgrade to how my uh, how things worked out <laughs> for me. Um, well, you're just being like much more aware of one of Happy Kiosk's win conditions and it decidedly trying to avoid it. Yeah, which is well, really good. I definitely. I also I recognized after uh, one of the previous weeks that I have this really bad habit uh, against Happy Chaos. Like, I don't know if you noticed Moon River, but you would throw Curse, and I'd be like, "Ah, the projectile! I must block," and I would just sit there and take it like every time. Like, I need to stop doing that. I am getting... Just, well, I'm getting gunned for it. Damn. I think a lot of people do that because they're afraid to, like, jump or stop or, you know, like, mm -hmm. move or something. Can you shoot the gun while the curse ball is, like, being thrown? Or does it put the gun away to toss it? So if you, um, if you're in steady aim and you immediately cancel out of steady aim into throwing the curse ball, the cursor stays like right on where the person is. So you can shoot pretty much right afterwards. Um, okay. if they're, if they're cursed <coughs> when you throw the curse ball, I think it pretty much always hits. Um, gotcha. but if they're uncursed, uh, and you shoot too early, it'll whiff. Okay. Because yeah, I was going to, that's what I was going to say is, uh, sort of in a like frame trap type sense if you can build a 50 50 into like do they try and jump the curse ball and then it's like they can try but sometimes if they do you just pull the trick <clears throat> sorry you pull the trigger and you like shoot them and then they get cursed anyways you're like gambling resource for a relatively low reward like damage wise but if you can use it to like kind of enforce the curse mix-up, then that's worth a lot on its own. I don't know for sure how, like, realistic that is if they're not already cursed, though. Uh, I, I think it's pretty good for the most part, because um, when people jump, it catches the jump, even when they're not cursed most of the time. Um, I think mm -hmm. it's a pretty good thing to be doing in general. It's something that I've been trying to or I was trying to, like, pay extra attention to uh, this week because I haven't been, like, thinking about it or doing it for a while. Sure, gotcha. Is it, like, the sort of thing that you used to do a bunch and then just kind of, like, got lost in the other stuff that you were working on, or...? Oh, no, I just never learned it. It was something okay. I learned, like, recently. Gotcha. Uh, playing other people. Okay, so I just... The way you worded it, I wasn't sure. But... Okay. Um... Otherwise, uh, oh, I guess successfully did not take a bunch of random Hail Mary risks. That thing I need to stop doing. Uh, things to practice. Remember to kill people when you have meter and can do so. <laughs> yeah. Remember... Yeah, that goes up here. <laughs> I don't think that there was anything major, because, like, things to practice, I don't think I had many execution errors this set. Oh, uh... Yeah. Let's see. Post... I guess anti-YRC2P. Do the goddamn anti-burst OS on post slash. Okay, I think that's everything for me. Um, what do you think the like core takeaways are for you, Moon River? I think um, when I'm making decisions a lot of the time, I'm like half aware of what can happen, but I'm mostly just like guessing what will happen. And so I think it would be better for me to be like more aware of like what you could do or what I could do instead of just like, you know, Mm -hmm. going for stuff yeah sure. i think that's something similar that aj was having trouble with a, a bit ago where uh, he would, would just sort of be doing stuff in neutral and not really knowing why he would be doing it uh, i would say that that is actually still my problem i'm just like trying okay. really hard to focus on uh working on it um yeah 
what I'm trying to do to approach it is just go like character by character and really try to figure out like okay at this range what are their options what are they looking for etc and just like keep slowly working through the cast is what i think i need to do there yeah <laughs> it's like be more aware of like the risk reward in situations oh. yeah anyway tangent yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> continue <Mid -River. laughs> my bad Oh no, it's it's all good. I I think the the only other thing would be like um, it kind of related to that is just like paying attention to when I'm like getting openings. Uh, there were a couple times where I would like hit with a two K or something, and then I would just autopilot the two D where I could have connected with like a six K or something like that, um, mm. or just like uh, where I was like concentrating too early instead of like shooting like doing optimal damage with like the gun combos and stuff like that okay sure uh, oh i guess uh one thing i will add is burst points versus milia because <laughs> that's just oh, like oh, yeah, is huge <laughs> yeah but that's like a very like this matchup in particular specific type deal Six H, not close slash. Fish. Close to to visually confirm the H disk startup. Okay. Uh, anything you want to add to the things to practice lab or misc notes sections at all? Um, I, I definitely need to stop doing uh, the like uh, RC after throw combo that I, I did hmm. to you uh, a couple of times. I need to do like the the back drift shoot thing more. And, uh, and also doing, like, 2k into 6k. Sure. Uh, as a confirmer, like, just in general? Uh, yeah, because I, I think most of the time I can, like, make that, like, safe with a bullet if uh, someone is still blocking. Um, Fair enough. Or I can, like, cancel out of it in a clone or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I you didn't use clone at all this set, did you? I guess... I mean, I'm Milia. There's probably way, way less chances than normal because she flies at you. But yeah, I, I think I was mostly scared of the like uh, PRC like disc thing. Sure, makes sense. I guess this was also the day that I had really started like showing because we did some casuals, um, and this was like the day I started being like clone. I think you mean I have 50 meter. <laughs> So. Yeah, it was something that both you and Tyler were doing, like, super consistently, so I was just trying to, like, clone way less. Sure, makes sense. It's still good, especially versus Leo, if Leo doesn't have 50 meter, because I can't fucking do anything about that shit. <laughs> does your it's projectile like, not just go through it, because it's two hits? It, it, ta it does go through it, but it's 10 frame startup plus distance to go there, so if they're using clone to set up zoning, Fair. I have to, like... Yeah. instantly s s projectile to beat the clone and if it's already there doing that is just killing myself because i'm in counter hit recovery for like 20 frames for like a billion years fair enough <laughs> it's it's a call out on thinking they're gonna clone it's not like a reaction to the clone okay it's still definitely good and i should use it if i'm expecting a clone or i can use it if i'm expecting a clone but it's like Maybe not all the time. Fair enough. All right. Uh, anyone have any last thoughts before I cut the VOD? No, I, I think that was, that was great. All right, cool.